this park is very uh, special, very unique. Um, it's a Carolina Bay, which is kind of a, a misnomer because Carolina Bays don't get their name from, uh, when you think of bay, you think of like body of water, and that's not the case at all. Um, where they get the name bay is from the trees that grow three different types of uh, bay trees, loblolly, red bay, and sweet bay. Most Carolina bays have an acidic uh, pH value to it, uh, around five, six-ish. And what's unique about Lake Waccamaw is Lake Waccamaw has a neutral pH, which means it's not basic and it's not acidic. It's right in the middle, right where it needs to be. It's around 6.5, 7, maybe, maybe a little bit higher, which is awesome. It's awesome for biodiversity. It's awesome for plant life. It's awesome for uh, fish life, things like that. So, and the reason that we have that is because on the north shore of our lake we have a limestone deposit and that limestone actually filters the water and water coming in can be acidic and when it comes in uh, the limestone raises the pH and gives it a, a nice neutral uh, number. Historically wetlands weren't considered important until somewhat recently um, and we've come to find out that they are very important. Um, number one is it's got an incredible amount of biodiversity in the wetlands there. Um, you can find all sorts of uh, plants and animals living in there. Um, also wetlands are important because they act as uh, flood barriers you know during hurricane seasons or anything like that it also protects the uh, local area from um, from flooding but uh, on top of that it also helps with um, cleaning the water it almost acts as a filter so to speak so the water goes through the uh, wetlands and uh, it actually filters it out and cleans it a little bit um, so the wetlands are a very important uh, part of our ecosystem here for just not only ecological reasons but you know for uh, humans as well too. Our primary uh, type that we're in right now and that you'll find most commonly on the park is what's called a pocosin. It has like a peaty soil so uh, it gives it that uh, acidic uh, pH. I tell people in the summertime, you'll have a hard time not seeing an alligator at Lake Waccamaw. Um, they can be in the lake. They're not typically found there too often. They're kind of found in the uh, swampier area, wetland areas, um, canals um, adjacent to the park. But you can find raccoons, possums, white-tailed deer, black bear, fox, frogs, salamanders, anoles, uh, snakes unfortunately <laughs> i know a lot of people don't like snakes but snakes um, uh, all sorts of ducks come through here see coots mallards things like that 54 uh, species of fish you can find fish here and clams and mussels here that you can't find anywhere else in the world so that's that's very very unique for lake waccamaw um, them being the waccamaw killifish waccamaw darter waccamaw silverside silt snail and the cola snail, Waccamaw spike, and Waccamaw fat mucket. We have a, an abundance of wildlife here that, that you can experience for sure. So uh, our primary job here as park rangers is to protect these natural resources and you know protect the uh, uh, park visitors that come and, and visit us here.